Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Unmorphed Video Vlog. Video vlog is redundant, I think, because vlog means video blog. So anyway, <laughs> Unmorphed Day 5, Momocon Day 4. As I was going to bed last night, I was debating about whether to go to the Legend of Zelda Choose Your Own Adventure thing. Um, I decided not to. Uh, that let me get a little more sleep, and really that pulled me up to, like, adequate sleep. Um, I felt kind of bad in the terms of, like, I was talking about, you know, doing enough, you know. The last day of the con, there's this pressure to, like, do as much as you can. But it is the last day of the con, you know. They are providing more limited offerings, and you just kind of wrap things up, you know? So I'm going to go take in a concert. I'm going to go enjoy that. And then I'm going to go to the dealer's hall and uh, get some stuff for me and mine. And and that'll be it, you know? That'll wrap up the con for me. This time last year, I was checking out of the hotel at this point um, to head back. As I've talked about already, I'm going to Stone Mountain tomorrow, so tonight is my last night in the hotel, and I'm happy about that. I'm happy to have the last day of the trip not be the last day of the con, because I remember last year um, feeling a little rushed in terms of, like, the feelings. I had to get back in the car and start driving home, and it's like on the way home I'm thinking about, like, what the con meant to me and what I'm going to do following up on things that happened at it, so... Um, today is a very short con day. I'm doing one thing and then going shopping for a little bit. Um, the concert, come to think of it, I don't even know how long the concert is. Um, oh, it, it has an hour block. It has a one hour block. If it were longer, they would, uh, they would note that in the program. But I, I can see it in my head now that it's one block, so... That'll be one hour, so that's from one to two. Um, the dealer's hall closes at five, um, and I think the gaming does too. Basically, MomoCon closes at five o'clock, so um, I've got to uh, have everything wrapped up by then regardless. And I mean, it's not going to take me, you know, three hours to go through and decide on everything that I want to get. Um, and then uh, I'm going to come back here, and I think I'm going to go bowling. Um, that's something I would like to do, although I also want to go swimming. So I guess it'll depend on how I'm feeling at the, at the time, and uh, we can go from there. Almost time for me to get out the door here. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to get going here. I'll try to record a little bit of the concert to put in again on that idea of I don't want the vlog to just be the camera pointed at me talking. You see enough of that in my Power Rangers videos. <laughs> um, alrighty, let's get out of here.
right, so I figured if I was going to go back from that amazing concert to just me talking in the camera, I would pick a very interesting location to sit down and start talking. Not only do I have plant behind me, this plant, but if you look over there, there's people down there walking. So, I guess you would say the official part of my MomoCon is over. Uh, that was the only event I was attending today. That was the open world video game concert. This was actually their very first concert. Uh, so that was pretty cool to be a part of. And as the concert was going on, two thoughts uh, were occurring to me. So, I've come to realize that, like culturally, the arts, I'm, I'm big into the arts. I'm big into music, I'm into acting, I'm into singing. I've made like a major artistic experience a part of each of my Momo cons. And usually they inspire me and to like want to personally get involved. Uh, a couple of times I've seen Noise Complaint, which is a geeky tap dance group. Uh, and the first time I saw them, I actually looked up how much tap dance shoes cost, how much tap dance lessons would cost. Don't picture that image <laughs> um, if it bothers you. Obviously, I didn't follow through with that. Uh, there's a geeky singing group called Geekapella. They actually performed here this year, but um, conflicted with something else I was doing, so I didn't make it over there. But when I see them perform, it makes me want to sing. I do have to say that seeing the open world orchestra this year did not make me want to learn how to play a musical instrument. Um, I just more appreciated it from a cultural standpoint. From Okay, so this is going to get really nerdy, but like one of the aspects of Star Trek that people have commented on is kind of this return to interest in the arts by humanity and, and galactic society, if you will. Um, especially in Starfleet and the Federation, you know, people don't really, you know, people don't watch TV except for on Voyager when they put, you know, they created a TV. They, they go to plays and they attend and perform in uh, musical performances. And that's kind of what it felt like. It was just like, I'm, I'm taking in culture, you know, I'm, uh, I'm doing something that's good for my soul, if you will. And my intellect, you know, it's, it's just good to listen to classical music, you know, orchestral music, and the fact that this was video game music just made it all the cooler. The other thing that occurred to me was not just vlogging, but like the society of, of recording things, you know, this has been commented on socially about how so many people view the world through their phones and through their cameras. It kind of went, because I saw a bunch of people, it kind of went both ways, because I saw a bunch of people like recording the performance on their phones, but I noticed that almost everyone was doing what I was doing most of the time, which was recording some of it and then putting the phone down and listening and watching, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and even when I was recording entire songs, first of all, I was holding the phone down, you know, not straight out in front of me watching through it, and I was making an effort not to like, okay, does the shot look good, you know, and I'm watching it through here, but I'm looking at it with my own eyes and actually being there, because if you think about it, if you're watching a performance like that on a screen, even if you're there, it's just like you're watching it at home or watching a recording later. So, those were some thoughts I wanted to get out of my head. Um, now, like I said, the official part of the con is over. This was the only thing I was doing today. Um, I am now going down to the dealer's hall to spend money that I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I, might, I might get in a couple more video games. And then sadly the con will be over. I mean, the con pretty much ends at 5 o'clock, so whether I want it to end or not, it's ending. So, uh, I'm going to head down there. I'll try to get some footage.